What's going on everybody and welcome to the sixth episode of The Stein. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Southern Tier Brewing Company's Creme Brulee Stout. We got the Southern Tier Brewing Company's Creme Brulee Stout here. Southern Tier is located in Lakewood, New York. This is part of their Black Water series and it's a stout brewed with real vanilla beans. On the first pour, you're seeing a nice kind of brownish color, but as the glass fills up, it becomes very, very rich, dark, dark, dark brown on the verge of black. The head is only maybe about half a finger width on final pour. Uh, if that, it wasn't super carbonated. It was definitely a very smooth, quick pouring beer. I got a little aggressive at the end and, and didn't really get too much of a rile up in the head. The head that is there is fairly thick and sticks to the glass very nicely. Oh. That definitely, definitely has that creme brulee smell. Uh, it's nice, really sweet, really rich, like sugary smell, uh, nice vanilla smell. It, it, it really it is, the, the aroma is capturing the essence of creme brulee very well because creme brulee is a custard dish that is usually very rich, it's heavy, um, that's why you don't get a lot when you eat it because it will fill you up. And this smell is just like that. It's rich, it's heavy, it's sweet. It's so, so appetizing. Oh man. So the taste of the beer is a real nice balancing act. It's a sweet, sweet kind of beer because you have that vanilla that it was brewed with, and that's the flavor that gets you first. You get this nice wash over of sweetness. Secondly, you're dealing with this bitterness that is colliding with it, so it's like a juxtaposition. It's beautifully done. The beer itself isn't super rich, which I was expecting from the mouthfeel because you're looking at a stout that's smelling really heavy and thick and syrupy, similar to like what a creme brulee would feel like, but in all actuality, the beer itself is actually relatively light for what you were expecting, and it washes over the mouth and feels nice on the palate and leaves just a little tiny lingering like bitter taste that dissipates fairly quickly. Drinkability on the beer, overall, overall it's there. Three, two, one, action. Drinkability on the beer overall is very good. If you like sweet things, you'll most likely like this beer. If you don't like sweet things, it might be a little much for you because it is definitely a sweet beer. It might not be super rich and heavy, but it's definitely sweet. If you like stouts, you'll most likely like it and it's an interesting take on the stout to add that real extreme sweetness to balance out that bitterness. So I would give it the shot. Some science and numbers on this particular beer. It's an imperial milk stout, but and you can serve those between 50 and 55-ish, but according to Southern Tier, they say the best temperature is 48 degrees. So listen to them, they know what they're talking about. You're gonna to wanna to put it in a sniffer, large wine glass, maybe a closed top tulip glass, because you wanna really trap that aroma. I broke my sniffer, so this glass had to do. Sad. It's 9.5% alcohol by volume. On the IBU scale, that bitterness that's underlying the sweetness is definitely pushing it up to about a 75 or 80. And on the SRM scale, hmm, can you see through this beer? This thing's a 40 all the way. You can grab this beer in a 22 ounce bottle or a 1 6th keg. 1 6th of creme brulee beer. So that's wrapping it up for the Southern Tier Brewing Company's Creme Brulee Stout. A sweet succulent beer with some evil hidden bitterness to rock your world. I dropped some links in the description below. Check me out on Facebook and on Twitter. Like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what beers or brewing companies you'd like to see show up on the Stein. And until next time, be safe, drink responsibly, and cheers.